My father was Marcelino Serna, the hero, World War I hero, the most decorated soldier from Texas. Marcelino was 16, 17 years old when he came over to the United States, and at the same time, that's where he went and enlisted to uh, be uh, in the Army. And he got to Europe, and, and his, his senior officials realized he wasn't from the United States. And they offered, they told him he didn't have to fight, and he decided to do it anyways. And he became the most decorated World War I veteran from Texas. The service that he did, to actually volunteer to lead the attack single-handedly against a machine gun nest that was killing all of his comrades, typical of the Medal of Honor recipients. What really stands out is that he did not get the Medal of Honor. No tengo palabras. Other nations gave him their highest medal. He couldn't speak French, he got the Quarter Guerre. He couldn't speak Italian, he got their Medal of Honor. He couldn't speak British, he got the British Combat Medal. And then the contradiction that the criteria for which he did not receive it, that he couldn't speak English. Marcelino was a Mexican citizen. He came over, he showed the American people what kind of a person he was. You know, and I'm very proud to be saying this about Marcelino Serna. I would like my great, great grandkids to remember that there was a hero in their family. And that legacy to continue for them not to forget their great grandfather.